vogels gaan. Kijk die vogels rijken. Zijn vleugels zo hoog, zo dicht bij de horizon. De ruimte achterna. Today we're together to celebrate an historic event. The inauguration of the Joop Lange Institute. As you all know, Joop left us a rich legacy and also a lot of unfinished business. I remember quite vividly how he described it to me in early 2014. As a place that would combine healthcare, technology, economics and development. It would empower the public and private sectors to work together. It would work to make healthy lives possible for all, including the marginalized, the poor, the invisible. He understood that the poor are on their own, that they have to rely on markets in many countries. That was Joop's legacy, and that is the agenda of the Joop Lange Institute. With the Institute, we have to become active in policy and we have to be activists. We have to convince people that health markets must work for the poor and that these markets cannot be neglected. When you think about the big barriers to health, a lot of them are human behavior. The question is how do we get ourselves to behave better? How to help people make better decisions, health, and more generally, what do we really assume about people? What are the methods that we can, we can help them with? And how can we doubt our intuition? Let us also set ourselves back to the days when they were fighting those fights on the HIV AIDS and antiretroviral treatment. We were in those meetings where people said confidently, big thinkers, academic giants, that you could not trust these drugs in the hands of illiterate women who don't know how to keep time and do not have a, own a Swiss watch. It will never happen. And now you look back and you say, how could humanity be so stupid? But that stupidity, unfortunately, is what runs the world. How can we think ahead and be prepared and not be caught unaware? Standing up for the rights of those at risk or living with HIV is our responsibility. Approval doesn't translate into uh, broad access. That's what takes people in, in this room and others to work together on to continue to improve, improve the care of people with HIV and other disease. Ono mentioned that we are talking last night about the important work you did for mother-to-child transmission to allow babies to be born free of AIDS. That was not a given. It actually uh, was considered one of the biggest breakthroughs in the history of what we do with HIV. I'm an optimist. We can do it. Prevent the emergence of an epidemic of HIV-resistant virus by treatment simplification. Make therapy simple and rational. Secure the funding for HIV medication and secure continued supplies for HIV medicines to those who need it for the next 20 to 30 years. With this simple formula, one billion years of life can be secured for people living with HIV. Institute can be a platform for that optimism as well as as we move forward in non-communicable and other diseases. It can drive, help drive a global agenda around these key issues. It can do it because the person who this, this institution is named after did precisely that. We have to adapt ourselves. Governments, donors, new ways of working, and partnerships are key in that sense. 
partnership with public, private sector, academia, civil society, organizations, philanthropic foundations, and the Joop Lange Chair, and that's a, is a case in port. Zij herinnert zich nog de rozen, de rozen langs het pad. En ook weet zij nog dat ze een rode roos had gekozen. Die kleurde zo mooi bij haar wit moezelie. Zij was nog zo jong, zo verschrikkelijk jong. In die zomer van 1910. The prize of greatness is your ability to take responsibility for your thoughts. So thinkers who turn their thinking into action are the people who make social justice happen. Let us connect differently for different results. Let us connect effectively for different results. Because it is only then that we'll have done justice to these two great people that we are celebrating here today and to this institute that must be unique and do things differently. The arc of history bends towards justice, but we don't have to let it just bend at its natural pace. We are the ones who will decide. We are the ones who will act to determine if we accelerate towards justice in our lifetimes or we wait and let it bend at a natural pace.